and on to the details now. The Ayawaso West Municipal Assembly uh, Security Council has begun investigations into a building collapse which claimed two lives and left nine others injured over the weekend. The building, which was being put up on the Jolu Primary School compound by a philanthropic group, Accra Friendship Club, came crashing down on Saturday as some workers were on site. Nine others were injured during the collapse. Komla Adom reports families and relatives of one of the two who died in the disaster thronged the accident site to demand answers. Days after a building and a construction at this site of the Jaulu AMB school came crashing down, killing two people, according to several reports. All the debris and the rubble have been cleared from this site, and teaching and learning has resumed. Pupils are in the classrooms and are getting instructions from their teachers. But family and relatives of those who were caught up in the incident have thronged the premises to seek answers and demand some explanation as to what exactly happened over the weekend which led to the death of their relative. Uh, Saturday, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, probably silent. If you are not to do fear pen, I mean, you are It's an incident, yes, you are an area. I see. Into no, a dying a boo, or more yet, you know, a dying be, a resigned be, and more school, I see. Into no dying a boo, a boo, and call a bit, and I'm a banner come. Fat me tear me a machine, my name, and I'm say be a, and call an adult, dear. Ain't to me, yes, I'm a banner. I be be sad to know. I feel me share now. Call call no ba. It's me me free beside it. I'm not just say I'm passe. I'm only I'm master. Ebe ye juma. Now I'm watching still dying. And the boys now watching still dying. Now it be jina other side. And they been through a war at home. So I'm going to show I'm watching still dying. Now the boy back. I'm me ban on the boy back. I can Omoti a form no more chess. In the Omuyan is a concrete in the Ub. I a banty omoti form to moon to me and your motion a big gum so. Now at once a cool. In summary, what she's just saying is that she had a phone call that um, um, her son was involved in this incident and so they came to inquire they were told that he he and then his master and a few other contractors were on site here during mm, during a construction project when the concrete slabs came tumbling down and fell on them because they were on the ground floor of the structure and so they were unable to escape and said and police hospital and Monday, a banner about the head, a sine, so many phone by mine. Yet the other Yaka could see, and I say, said ye, a big moose and a ben. They've been told that um, their son is dead, and he, his, his body has been taken to the police hospital, and that is why they are here today to attempt to see the way forward if they could get the, the body to go and then um, bury the dead. There's an accident here, I bind the old can is it? A dime besides the engine, once a dime, a broken area made chances, one by one by catch me and nephew, maybe as met me in me bar, my mad, my cousin, my dear. They say they are mere than when you will be into me, and if you are into me, you be you. Other individuals who were thought to have been caught up during the incident, sustained various degrees of injuries, are being treated at the hospital. School authorities will not speak to us. Uh, on record, I will not say anything about the incident that occurred over the weekend, but to say that the construction project was being supervised and directly handled by the municipal authorities. I think it was a weekend, so the students were not around. But as at that time, there were 15 people on site, and including the 15 people was the chairman of the Accra Friendship Group, those who are putting up the building for the municipality. And out of the 15, again, four escaped on head. Nine suffered various degrees of injuries. And as at yesterday, eight were treated and discharged. One is still on admission at Nyawo, so we lost two. And as we speak, we don't know how the building came down. As at now, we don't know, but investigation is still ongoing. It's a school premises, and because of the way it happened weekend, there were rumors that some of the teachers were there, they were hurt, and it brought fear to the parents.
And because of that, we had to break the other part. I, as I told you, half of the building was down. So they had to bring down so that they can clear the debris from there so that they will have a better service for the students to come to school. So as of now, we've already been there. You know the place has been cleared and there's no harm there. Reporting from the Jolu AMB school here in Accra, I am Komla Adum for Joy News. That is Komla Adum's report there. Let's speak to the public relations officer for the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, George Aisi, who joins me on the line. Mr. Aisi, thanks for your time this afternoon here on The Pulse. Well, it looks like uh, we've lost him there. We'll try and raise him back on the line. But if you're just joining in, we're talking about a, a school, uh, a building on a school compound that collapsed over the weekend. What we know so far is that 15 persons were on site. Two of them were killed when that building came down, and nine of them were injured. As you heard the officer speak to Komala, eight of them were discharged, but one person is still on admission at Nyaho. Let's get back on the line now. We do have George AC. To continue uh, that discussion, we started. Mr. Mr. AC, thanks for your time. Um, uh, you, you, you have been involved, and Admo has been involved in uh, rescue efforts. Sir, uh, what, what, what does your preliminary assessment reveal? Yeah, thank you, Gifty. Uh, well, when we our men went there, we 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 realized the problem had been that when they put up the building. Uh, you need to let it be for about 21 days or three weeks uh, before you take up the wood coverings and coal, so it will be properly dry. Uh, but they realized uh, they did that before the 21 day uh, period elapsed. And so one of the sides of the building was a bit weak, even though it had a solid foundation, uh, a part of the building was weak. And that might have been the basic reason why uh, the building collapsed. So those are initial assessments uh, reports, but uh, it's been quite a, a number of hours so far. Um, yeah. What's the latest? Oh, no. Uh, you know, the latest is we've gone there in collaboration with the Iowa School uh, Assembly uh, to pull down the whole building because it posed the risk or a danger to the school children. That's a primary school in the area. And so we thought it would be inappropriate to leave the building or something. So it's all been put down uh, for the safety uh, of the children. Well, we're told also by the assembly that the, the quickly, they quickly came in to clear the debris so that children can go back to school. We still see some of the debris on the compound, though. What is the plan? Hello, Gifty. Yes, Mr. Isi, if you can hear me. You were talking yeah. you were talking about the fact that this building was ongoing in the school compound and i'm saying that the ayawaso uh, municipal assembly ayawaso west municipal assembly has said that they had been there to clear the debris so the children can go to school and we see that but we still yeah. see some of the debris on the school and then we see that the children have started school what's the plan yeah. So now there are not more people collaboration with the assembly uh, will go on to take up any dangerous particles or other things there uh, of the place. And then uh, whatever final assessment report that comes, uh, that's what we are going to base on to uh, handle the issue going forward. But as of now, the assembly uh, is dealing with that. Not go at the district level with the assembly uh, dealing with that. If the final report comes to the headquarters, then we need to wait in to support the victims, the uh, survivors, and other things. We will do that at the headquarters level. Well, we also know that there's some kind of investigations ongoing. What do you know about this investigation? I mean, what yeah, does NADMO know, know about when it? When it happened, the police and the fire service uh, with NADMO and the assembly were there uh, to rescue the others. So definitely the police uh, must wait in and then do the investigation. If within the remit of the police, uh, they will give us uh, the report for when they finish with the investigation. Whoever is to collaborate and support in the investigation process, it will be uh, done. But the police are fully in charge of that. Will the building projects be allowed to continue in this place? So now that we've brought everything into ground zero, uh, if they have to restart, then it will be uh, on a new uh, uh, order from the assembly. If they do the assessment and they think the ground, the structure, 
listen of the the sister of the gun is enough to support the story building uh, mm -hmm. going forward. Uh, the assembly will give that sense. Regarding those who have been involved in this tragedy, uh, two of them have lost their lives. Is yeah. there any plan, any any package for their families? Uh, that will depend on them, but definitely there will be a support to the family. Uh, when we have men, we're part of the team that took them uh, to 37 and were there till about 8 o'clock yesterday night before, uh, before leaving. And so uh, definitely uh, we'll give them any package if there's a need. We don't normally when cases of death happen, uh, there's a package from NADMO uh, to support the bereaved family. We will do that. And for those who are injured, we understand that one more person is still on admission at Nyaho. Yeah. Who's yeah. taking care of the medical bills? Is it coming from they, them, their families? Oh, no. When, when the full report comes, their first report comes, and then uh, that will be uh, the same on that. And then we'll either take the full report or part of the report uh, will be borne by uh, either NATO and then. Uh, the owner of the project may also be asked to come in. Uh, that will be dependent on the report that is brought. Okay, and at this time, uh, we were also told that the uh, chairman of the group was there when this happened. Um, you haven't already spoken to him for his side of the story? Chairman of the group? Yes. Are uh, you mean the... The group that's building the structure. Oh, oh yeah, the corporate social responsibility. Yes. Yeah, we, 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 our men haven't given me the briefing that they've spoken to me. But we are aware he was doing the uh, corporate social responsibility uh, for the community. Yeah, that's we haven't spoken uh, to him officially yet. Okay, Mr. AC, it looks like uh, a lot more needs to be done right now so we yeah. get the details yeah. of what's happening, but hopefully that will be done within good time and we'll come back to you as and Thank when you, you have that information. George AC is Public Relations Officer for the National uh, uh, Disaster Management Organization, NADMO.